Hi there, it's Alicia. Self-government is a messy process. It requires wrestling with differences and building common ground across deep divides. It would be much easier and there'd be more order in society if an absolute monarch gave orders from a throne, but there would be much less freedom too. Reportedly, when Benjamin Franklin left the Constitutional Convention, a woman asked him, well, doctor, what have we got? A republic or a monarchy? Franklin is said to have responded with a republic if you can keep it. Franklin was letting on to how difficult it was to keep an experiment in government by the people going. As Americans, people have both rights and responsibilities. The three R's of rights, responsibility, and respect can help us keep our republic. These include understanding that every human has the right of conscience, feeling a responsibility to protect the rights of others, and respecting the human dignity of others and their freedom to disagree. The framers in the Constitutional Convention styled the preamble with this phrase, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. The process of creating a more perfect union is ongoing. At the time the framers and conventions sent the Constitution to the states to be ratified, hundreds of thousands of people in the United States were enslaved. The work of making our union more perfect required wrestling with ending slavery, in spite of the entrenched economic interest that drove it. Also at the time of the creation of the Constitution, women were excluded from electing leaders. The process of making a more perfect union is a messy process. It requires wrestling with differences and building common ground across deep divides. To keep the Republic going, each generation has to wrestle with the process. If that wrestling ends, so does the Republic. Public schools are charged with enabling rising American citizens to wrestle with our deepest differences. If we fail in our schools to teach and model the rights and responsibilities that flow from the Constitution, then surely we endanger the future of our daring experiment in self-government. It's important for students to learn in school how to seek understanding of others who think differently, but still share the same public square. Join me to learn more about liberals and conservatives and building common ground across these divides.